this is Mike. Uh, today I'm going to do a double baited swing stick for you. Uh, what you're going to need is a crotch steak or Y steak, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a little peg, Finn's peg, and another Y stick that I've cut off short. And uh, I've trimmed down both ends to allow you to put bait on there. And you're also my trusty white twine for visual purposes. And an optional, I'm going to use it, but optionally you can use a slide rock or a slide stone to under your feet. Have your short side and your crook going backwards. That's going to go in here like this. So I'm going to tie it off to the spring hole back here. And I usually put a square knot in just because it doesn't slip. Nice quick trap, nice and quick. You can also do it without the extra steak, without the extra bait piece on here. Just do one side. Slide rock, it takes a little extra time. Okay, uh, I actually could have made this a little bit longer, it would have been a little easier. Fulcrum's kind of out of bad position on this because it's so short. I should have made this a little bit longer. Uh, Once again, to make my noose, I just wrap it long enough for my finger to get around, pull it back up through, and then pull your original piece up through, and you have a noose. This is just a hang. Obviously, I got to do two of these.
not right here once again. Like I said on previous videos, it's not really a big deal. You put it around once, it's not going to go anywhere. So if you're worrying about slippage, just throw it around there one more time. Just put a little granny knot in there. We have a nice big piece of wood on the bottom. It's not, it's not going anywhere. Okay. Okay. You have to think about how the animal is going to be standing. It's going to have a neck on him, so it's going to be out like this. His feet are going to be back just a little ways, so you want to come back up a little bit. But, but it's nice to be in the front, too. You might come around his head and get him nice and quick death. sticks, kind of funnel them in, keep them out on the sides, because my noose, my noose isn't really on the side, but I'm just going to do one side here for visual purposes. Okay, I'm going to let you go ahead and take a look. Here's your swing arm. Double baited. Uh, here's your crotch or your Y. There's your peg. And then there's your slide stone. Uh, all it takes is one end of this to move. And it's going to be, I mean, fast. It's going to go quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set that off now. Grab me, I'll just put my arm in there. And obviously, uh, I'm just doing this in my backyard, and I don't really have a uh, a lot of torque on that spring spring pole. This is more of a visual thing for you to learn how to make the trap. You would definitely want to put a little more oomph on that. So that's it, uh, bring you another one soon.